WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. This is the Tiger Financial News Network. Four o'clock, end of the week, uh, March the 11th, Friday. Uh, close with the Dow down 230 at 32,943. This is Basil Chapman, and uh, I have the Tiger Technicians Hour at 10 to 11 daily, and I have the opening call daily newsletter. So I'm guest host. I guest hosted for Tom just a moment ago. What we're looking at is just let me give you parameters so we don't have to over anticipate anything. 32,578, about 400 points lower than where we are, is key initial support early next week. If it takes that out, the 32,272 low on the 25th of February is going to be a, a target. So that means there has to be some kind of a rally that takes the Dow on a closing basis. This is the daily chart right here above 33,550 into the 33,600s. I don't care what it is. That's what it needs to be able to say, whew, now we can have another arch formation, at least a decent rally into maybe midweek. Uh, the weekly chart. I uh, closed uh, ugly it's in a sell mode. The day the monthly chart is still in a buy mode. It hasn't changed status yet. S and P the S and P uh, 500 traded down to 50 uh, down to 42.04 at minus 56, almost the low of the day, and um, it tried to rally. It failed. Levels to watch are 40. Let me just give you this 41. 57 is the the first uh, level of support. If it takes that out, it makes an arch formation going back to test the 4114 low of the 24th of Feb. On the upside, it needs to, at some point, it needs a close in the 4305 or higher area, preferably 4335. But I don't know if it can do that. We'll see. The QQQ NDX 100, uh, very ugly day, a down six and a half with 324. It hasn't had any real decent rally that it's sustained. 319 is a 324. 319's first support. 318 will be next. And certainly 317 area better hold. But on the upside, if it can break into the 335, 337 area, that is at least a good sign. The IWM, the Russell 2000, how has been holding very nicely. It hasn't broken up. It hasn't broken out. It's just kind of holding there. Most importantly, over the weekend on Sunday night, if gold, which is trading in 1988, is starts to trade in the 2010 or higher area, that's going to be very good for gold. It has tremendous support in 1955. And crude oil, crude oil at 109, has to hold uh, 101 night or 98 as support. And we'll see what happens there. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. We'll all see you on Monday. Sharpening.